Hi, it's Kelly here, and we've got three days, three days, the final three days to do this. We're going to create a miracle here in the United States and around the world, and it's going to be really simple. And it doesn't require you to send me $2 a day for three days. It just requires you to invest two minutes for three days. If I asked you for $2, you would send it. You know, every day, you might even do it for a year's worth. I don't know. What I'm asking you right now is three days, uh, two minutes of your time for three days to make this miracle happen. And we don't have to worry about how it's going to happen. God will handle that. If you do not focus on, oh, if, uh, if we do this, then it's going to work this way. Don't do that. Just do it. Let God do the rest. And the reason this works, we have evidence of it from 1,700 years from the land of Tibet. Because it's a small country. Over the, over the centuries, they've been attacked, all sorts of things, but they have survived. And not only have they survived, but they're... Some of those folks are able to go outside with just a sheet on their body. I've even seen videos where they get into a meditative state and people throw water on them and and they are fine. You know, and Tibet is a land, is that where the Himalayas are? It's lots of mountains, it's cold winds, and yet these people have been doing this. And and not only that, but they in addition to the cold they do an exercise once a year where they prostrate themselves on the ground, on the road. I think it's around a mountain or something. And they'll measure off their body length, get up, lie down, get up, lie down, get up, lie down, do this hundreds or thousands of times in order to go around the mountain. Uh, you know, it takes, I believe it takes two or three days to go around and do that, and yet they have the energy to do that in a place where it's cold. All right. So when you do this, you might find that you can save money as winter. You know, we're now in, in fall, and, and you know, some places it gets wintry feeling. Uh, this could reduce your heating bills. Um, so, oh, what they've done in Tibet that makes this happen is they've been spinning copper for 1,700 years. That's about 620,000 days. So it's not just one person that can withstand the cold with a sheet or even no sheet at all. Uh, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you know, people who lived a long time ago and people who are living today, they are still able to do this and the world has still survived. You know, we've, we've had many, many massacres and holocausts and things like that, but it would have been much, much worse, I believe, because they've been spinning copper with their prayer wheels. They have little handheld ones. They have small ones that are lined up. You know, people walk by and they, each person gives it a spin, gives it a spin, gives it a spin. They have, even there's one, it's so big that it, one person has a hard time getting it going. It, it might require two or three people pushing on it to get it to rotate. But that spinning copper has enabled them to perform physical feats that, that you don't see other people doing. And it spreads, but it spreads out over the world. And we're doing that spinning copper and it's much, much faster than what they've been able to do in Tibet. And the way you can do this without having a, a, a prayer wheel is to duplicate the video. I'm going to give the title of the video on Facebook underneath, and you'll go to YouTube and you'll find it, and then you will duplicate. You'll copy and paste the, the URL at the top, and you'll make 10 of them. And as you go for each one, one by one, you're going to, you're going to right-click on the screen with your mouse. Right-click with your on the screen with your mouse. It will open up a window, and at the top it'll say Loop, L-O-O-P. You click on that, and then you go down to the bottom of the screen towards the right. This is my right over here. There'll be a cog wheel. You know, it's kind of an irregular wheel-looking thing. You click on it, and you go up to where it says Speed. It'll say probably say One times and then just to the, just to the well it's to my left I guess you'll see you can scroll down and click on two because now we're going to double the speed and why do we do that well if you've ever received a, a heartfelt energizer or maybe two and you've ever placed them on your chest you can just feel it it's fantastic 
right? And spinning would be even more fantastic. And I invite you as you go through and do this, you'll start to notice what the Tibetans have felt for 1,700 years. Each time you do it, it's like, because there's it, the video that you're seeing, it's two plates. So you're getting twice as much. And then you're going to click on the thing for two times. So that's four times as much. And then you're doing it 10 times, so it's ten, four times 10. 40, it's as if you've received 40 of these energizers in the mail, if you remember how that made you feel when you got that and you put it on a fan. Now you're doing it 40 times. You don't have to be in front of the screen. You can be in the other room. You can, if it's not, if there's no thunderstorms predicted, leave, let the computer run and, and it'll go out all over the place. It goes through the walls. The frequency is just like as if, as if you were listening to music. And, and what this does, the way this creates miracles is that it makes people feel energized and vibrant and calm. And you'll notice when people feel sick or they have a tendency to get sick, they fear about what can happen. And, and our government has used that fear to manipulate people. But we're going to take away the fear because we're going to take away that feeling of sickness. And when they feel energized, things happen. And God knows how to make miracles. You know, you see these videos of people who talk about they were near death, and they and they go they they describe what they their their depiction of heaven. Each person is a little different, and they say the rules are all different there. It's not like here. You know, here on Earth we're cause and effect, but there. It's miracles, and that's what God is all about, is constant miracles, instantly. These people die, and they, that fast, most of the time, they just notice, boom. It's just a different feeling. And so you're going to do this, you're going to create the physical part of that, and you're going to allow, you're going to, you, you, and I'll make another video about this, uh, how you go into your heart, feel your heart, and you multiply that feeling as you're doing it. And uh, I'm probably going to rewrite my book here, or not rewrite it, but add some chapters to describe that bon be bonus material, how to do that. So in combination with this spinning for three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're going to create all kinds of miracles for people. And even if the big one doesn't turn out the way we want, in the meantime, there, there's going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who are alcoholics who don't want to drink those days. That's going to save lives on the road. It's going to save families from being, you know, people getting drunk and getting violent. Uh, people's irritation is going to go down. So even if they don't drink, they're going to we're going to have miracles in homes all across the land and all across the world. So let's, let's see what happens in three days how we do this. And people who have autism are going to be better behaved. And people who have dementia are going to be <clears throat> more coherent. And I'm not saying they're going to be healed of these things entirely, but in many cases it's going to be improvement. Some people may not notice the improvement because you know how it is. When something bad is going on physically, be a sickness or, or, a, or an injury, and it goes away, we don't notice once it's gone. So that will happen in a lot of cases. People won't notice. They won't have anything to attribute it to. They'll just think, oh, it's been good. It's been good these days. So let's get this started now. And be sure <clears throat> when you notice as you're turning these on and you're starting to feel the energy, leave a detailed, specific comment. Don't tell me that you love me, because if you love me, you would you would do this. You would instead leave a detailed specific comment of how it made you feel. Because when you do that, then someone else will see it and it will give them the proof they need. Because a lot of the people that see these videos, they don't have the reference point. You know, it's brand new to them. It's like, oh, all right, that's great. And they move on. But when they see your social proof, it doubles it. And, and when it doubles, you know, we have saturation points. I've mentioned this before. You know, a 1% improvement in, 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 in a function of the body can create a 100% improvement in that function. 100% improvement. So your social proof is what leads to that. 
I, I appreciate and I love it that you love me. It makes me feel good. But right now, for the next three days, what we're focused on, you can tell me later that you love me, but for right now, let's get this love out there to everybody. Everybody. All right? Yeah, and if you want to send me six bucks or 600 bucks, there, there might even be a link down there. You know, if you appreciate what's going on here, I, you know, I, you know, thank you very much. So let's get this done. Let's get this miracle uh, happening. You take care, and God bless.